So Constantine's down from Ventura. He um, he's all, works um, uh, full time for Automatic on both the uh, core as well as uh, WordPress.org, and um, he's into uh, bourbon and uh, craft beer. So I'm um, sure we'll see some uh, some great stuff from him from him today. And I'll just turn it over. Big round of applause. Uh, thank you. Alex, are you ready to go? Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Shiny Updates, um, a feature plugin into Axe, and that uh, subtitle is actually outdated already. Uh, we recently had a, a change that was made uh, renaming feature plugins into feature projects. Uh, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on, um, what that entails in detail. Um, a few of you might have noticed, last week there was a new release of WordPress, which was WordPress 4.5 that came out. Um, who here has not updated yet to WordPress 4.5? Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. <laughs> um, you should totally do that. There's, um, a, there's a, a plenitude of, of reasons to update, and I want to show you the release video that outlines the most important reasons why you should update to WordPress 4.5. WordPress 4.5, Coleman, named for jazz legend Coleman Hawkins. Streamlines your workflow, whether you're writing your content or building your website. With responsive previews in the customizer, you don't need your phone to check out your site on the mobile web. Just use the layout toggles to preview your website on different size screens. While you're there, stop by the site identity settings. And, if your theme supports it, add a logo to your website. We've made subtle changes in the editor that will improve your writing experience. Now, when you click to insert a link, a field appears in line, allowing you to insert a URL, whether it's on your site or elsewhere on the web. And this release sees the introduction of even more formatting shortcuts to keep you typing and improve your flow. Enclose your text in backticks to turn it into code. Or add three dashes to insert a horizontal line. And that's just a glimpse at WordPress 4.5, a release focused on making it easier for you to write and to publish. WordPress 4.5, Coleman for a more streamlined experience. Exciting news. Um, with the release of 4.5, this also means that we uh, now started working on WordPress 4.6, which is scheduled to be released uh, August 16th of this year. Um, this will become important in just a few minutes. Uh, before we move on to actually talking about Shiny Updates, I want to um, uh, um, introduce you to um, a, a project that is happening today, rather, yeah, tomorrow, um, which is the Global Translation Day. Uh, it's a 24-hour live training session uh, on WordPress internationalization and localization, uh, starting at uh, 5 p.m. today, um, with uh, more than con uh, 30 contribu contributor events worldwide. So there's meetups worldwide um, that tune in to uh, these live streaming sessions, um, and it's all about translating WordPress uh, translating plugins and themes. And so if you speak a second language, like Spanish, for example, I hear that's very popular around here, um, you might want to consider uh, uh, hanging out in there, uh, learning something about how you can give back to WordPress through translating uh, uh, core plugins and themes. Going on today, starting at 5 p.m., uh, going on for 24 hours. But let's talk about Shiny Updates which is, in my opinion, uh, the 4.6's freshest feature um, coming, hopefully, in this upcoming release, uh, hopefully in users' hands by August this year. Uh, with the switch to um, feature projects rather than plugins, one of the new requirements or things that we do is uh, to formulate a statement of purpose. This sounds kind of dry, but it, it serves the purpose of having um, a focused mission or a focused goal that people can, you know, turn back to um, and and uh, uh, and orient themselves at. Um, and the main the main goal for Shiny Updates is uh, getting rid of the bleak screen of sadness. And uh, I'm going to show you um, just now uh, what I mean with that. And it's also uh, we want to. Um, we want to improve the experience when installing, updating, and deleting plugins and themes. Um, so this is what Shiny Updates is. Um, part of that was already done in WordPress 4.2, um, but we want to expand that with, in WordPress 4.6. So the bleak screen of sadness is the reason that a lot of users react that way when there's new updates available. It's something people don't want to deal with, right? 
Um, when you install a new plugin, for example, um, this is how it currently looks like. This is the process that you have to go through when installing a plugin. Uh, you, you click on the installer, um, the install now button, and you go, you get this screen, right? Uh, with tons of information that you don't really care about, and it's really, really confusing. Actual WordPress user, by the way. <laughs> so, how can we improve that? Uh, improving updates is something that um, has received a lot of attention uh, over the last two or three years, especially. Um, we introduced, uh, WordPress introduced automatic updates for minor versions over two years ago in WordPress 3.7. Uh, we had a, a, a dedicated release almost uh, to introduce that feature and make sure that, you know, that we get that right. Um, and the, the goal for that is, the goal for automatic updates really, is to combat update fatigue. Um, like some of you here, you know, who have not had a chance to update to 4.5 yet. Um, combat update fatigue and improve security, of course. Um, and so by, by pushing out um, background updates, uh, the core team is now able to close security holes in you know, 12 to maybe 24 hours, uh, even faster if, if need be. And that is not only um, true for WordPress core, uh, this is also true for um, plugins, for example, which has happened before. Um, and as far as I know, themes as well, if that is ever necessary. I don't think we ever had a case where we had to ship a background update or like an automated, automatic update for themes. Um, but for plugins, we had uh, two or three cases where we actually did do that, um, just to keep WordPress users around the world uh, safe from security holes. Um, and so tying into, tying into that idea of making updates as easy as possible for users, um, in WordPress 4.2, we saw the first iteration on Shiny updates uh, getting into uh, WordPress. So that, was, that would be Act 1, if you want. Um, smoother updates from the plugin list page. Um, so when you, when you click on update now, it just, um, everything happens in line. You never leave your plugin screen at all. It also includes uh, smoother updates, and, and it was supposed to include installations as well from the plugin install screen. So when you're uh, on the inst installation screen, like the one that you saw just now, um, you can update from there as well, and it's all uh, in line within the page without any reloads, uh, and it goes super, super fast. Uh, unfortunately, due to uh, time constraints, uh, shiny installations and bulk updates had to be removed before the first release candidate of WordPress 4.2. Um, so we were left, uh, we le yeah, we were left with uh, inline updates uh, for plugins only. Um, the idea for improving the update experience in that way actually uh, um, was formulated in WordPress 4.1. So even, uh, yeah, even like three months earlier than that. And uh, unfortunately, since WordPress 4.2, we never really had any uh, new improvements or any major movement on, on that project. Before I want to go, uh, go, go further into what we did with uh, version 2, I want to um, take a quick detour and talk about future projects and the idea behind them and why we um, develop core that way, or new features for core, rather. Um, in WordPress 3.6, we were working on um, the plugin, uh, the, I'm sorry, uh, the post formats uh, user interface. And it was a feature that um, needed a lot of work and it extended um, the release of uh, 3.6 by uh, over a month. So it delayed the release. It was a really painful experience because it had to be pulled out entirely in the end of the day. Um, and it was something that uh, really made the core team rethink the way that uh, features are developed for WordPress core. Uh, and so, starting in uh, WordPress 3.7, uh, uh, we used the idea of, of using plugins to uh, develop features before they go into release, with the, um, the advantage being that it's just uh, faster for people to iterate on these plugins because you're not restricted by uh, committers or the committer bottleneck, right? There's only a limited amount of people who have commit access to WordPress. And so if you work on a plugin, for example, on GitHub or something, um, yeah, it's a lot easier to give a lot more people access to, uh, to this plugin and, and iterate on, on the development there. Uh, it also doesn't tie uh, features to releases anymore, and the risk of delaying a release through that is greatly reduced, right? Um, so now we're in a, in a position where we can, or the core team is in a position where it can say, 
um, is this feature ready to be you know used or integrated into core and if it's not you know it doesn't matter uh, the the release won't really um, um, yeah be delayed or have any any bad repercussions through that um, but if it is ready it's just, it's very easy to integrate it into core and, and ship that feature um, with a new release and so um, one of the things that the the committer group kind of talked about during our last uh, meetup right before WorkCamp uh, US in December was that it's really, really hard to find um, great examples for feature plugins uh, for the rest of the community to um, look up to and orient, orient themselves at. And so, you know, there was a, a need for a new plugin to kind of, kind of, yeah, serve as a, as a best practice example for how feature plugins are being made. Um, and one of my suggestions was Shiny Updates doing uh, a version two of Shiny Updates um, as a plugin first, uh, not have it be core patches, but rather uh, in a plugin, as I said. Um, and so a lot of effort was really um, put into building it by the book, right? We had uh, regular meetings, uh, especially throughout uh, the months of December and January, uh, regular meetings, a lot of documentation. Uh, we had user tests. Um, pretty much everything that the requirements uh, laid out for, um, we did for Shiny Updates V2. Uh, one of the, the downsides though was that there was really a lack of participation. Where was, there was, um, I think, three or four contributors um, other than me who had interest or showed interest into contributing uh, to Shiny Updates. Um, so it took a little bit longer than, than we would have liked, um, but we got most of the work done in January. Shiny updates, as I said, um, wants to improve the installation experience for plugins and themes. Um, the update experience as well. Themes currently uh, don't have the benefit of uh, inline updates, uh, while plugins do. Um, and so for plugins, it was more about uh, bringing the bulk update feature up to par with that. Um, deleting plugins and themes as well. Um, th so those were the actions that we focused on. Uh, we decided not to really um, uh, go into bulk actions with themes because it turned out that uh, it doesn't really m make a difference if you select themes first and then an action or if you just uh, trigger the action directly on on the theme tile if you want um, so we didn't do that we also decided not to bother with making activations uh, something that would happen without a page refresh because a lot of theme uh, a lot of plugins actually uh, go ahead and um, redirect you to like a setting screen or something after that uh, installation, uh, th that activation page refresh. Um, so that led to a really, really weird user experience when you activate a plugin and then you, you know, go to write a new post or something, but you end up on the new plugin's settings page and you don't know how you got there, right? Um, so this is something that we um, didn't bother really uh, trying to figure out. There was also um, uh, problems with making sure that if you activate a plugin that it doesn't uh, fatal the entire site so you, you know you're left with a white screen um, after that and it's just just uh, a lot of um, challenges that you know we, we felt was was not worth our time just to save that one page refresh um, and also activating a plugin or theme did not bring you to the screen of sadness that we talked about earlier so it wasn't really a big focus of ours there are uh, five places within the WordPress admin to manage plugins um, and four places to manage themes. Um, I don't know if, if you were aware of that, but you can manage plugins from, of course, the plugin install screen, uh, the plugin list screen of, you know, already installed plugins. Um, and you have the same screens for um, multi-site as well. So that is four. And then there's also a details iframe if you uh, click on like a link in, in the plugin list uh, that shows you kind of the, the plugins page on, uh, in the plugin directory. And you can, of course, install and update uh, plugins from there as well. So that is five places that we had to make sure that we you know, captured uh, and, and dealt with in terms of uh, uh, actions that were triggered through, through these um, updates and installations. The plugin has been in the repository for three or four months now. Um, a few people have tested it already and, you know, uh, gave me some feedback. Uh, I want to share some of that feedback with you. People were really uh, enthusiastic about it. 
one friend of mine in specific, he, he, was, uh, he asked me, is it magic? You know, it's so fast, is it magic? Um, he said, it's amazeballs. I loved it. I know. Um, another person said, it looks professional. And I was like, this is awesome. You know, this is what we, this is what we go for. Um, so I want to show you uh, through a live demo. Yes. Uh, a live demo, I want to show you how uh, Shiny updates now work and how they look uh, going forward, hopefully coming to you in WordPress 4.6. So. Oh, this is a great resolution. All right, let's see. Okay, so this is your, um, uh, your plugins list screen, right? All the plugins you, that you have uh, installed on your site. Uh, and this is how it currently looks when there's updates available. And if we activate Shiny Updates, um, it looks a bit more colorful. We have nicer um, uh, notices. Updating a, a, a plugin, let's do this one, still works the same way as before. So that really hasn't changed. Um, but when we now go and install a plugin, let's add a new one. Whoa. Nope. All right, there you go. Um, Two-factor. So now when you click the Install Now button and everything happens in line, you're installing and it is installed and that's as fast as it goes. And you're not confronted with you know, all the unnecessary information that we currently display. Um, let's go back. Deleting that same plugin. Let's refresh the page. Uh, Two-factor. Deleting is as easy as that. Gone. Like your plugins. Gone. And the same thing goes for uh, themes, of course. Uh, and I think I have a theme. Oh, actually, I do have a theme update. Look at that. Updating. And. So updating. And eventually it updated. Adding a new one. Let's try that. Web design. This looks like a great theme. Look at that. I'm going to install that. Installing. Done. And that's as fast as uh, it is in, uh, with Shiny Updates enabled. Um, and also, wait, let's, uh, let's delete one as well. So I don't like web design anymore. So let's delete that. Uh, I hope I fixed that bug. Gone. Alex, you, you missed it. You didn't even see it. I know. <laughs> I deleted it. It's gone. Um, so this is what Shiny Updates is in a nutshell. It brings you all these actions way faster, uh, painless, finally. Um, yeah, hopefully soon near you. Oh, I got five minutes left, all right. So let's hope that WordPress 4.6 finally gives you shiny updates in the way that it was supposed to. Um, you have the opportunity, you have the opportunity to get involved if you want to, help us uh, bring it over the finish line. We have a chat coming up uh, this Tuesday at 1900 GMT, which is, I think, 10 o'clock, 12, 10, I think 10 a.m., 12? It's 12 noon, uh, 12 noon. Who, who, set that, who set that time? Like, I'm on my lunch break. Um, so <laughs> in the future, Shiny Updates channel on Slack. Uh, that's where you can find us. We'll have a chat on Tuesday. Uh, talking about how we can make sure that we do get it into 4.6, what, uh, what kind of work is remaining uh, there, and um, yeah. You can check out the, the repository on GitHub slash openland slash shiny updates if you want to um, open any issues or help out with code. Um, you would do us a great favor if you could install the plugin, activate it, and just have it run on your website. Um, I promise you I'll, I'll try not to break your site. Um, you can download it from the wordpress.org plugin repository. Uh, from the comfort of your uh, 
your uh, WordPress admin uh, and just use it and test it and see um, if there's any jarring experience that you were just not prepared for that we should fix. Um, yeah, give us feedback, that would be great. My name is uh, Constantine Obenland. You can find me uh, on the web under at Obenland. I have a blog with pretty pictures at uh, constantine.obenland.it. Um, as Ben said earlier, uh, I work at Automatic. Um, I'm on a team that is focused on contributing to WordPress core and the WordPress.org infrastructure. Um, one of the things that I am working on currently um, outside of Shiny Updates is actually rewriting the plugin directory of WordPress using WordPress. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty great uh, project. If you want to help me out with that, if you're interested in you know, uh, creating the new plugin repository for WordPress and make an impact there, uh, please come talk to me, see me uh, after the session. Um, and I'm now ready for your questions, if there are any. Pippin, all the way in the back. <laughs> I, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> are you going to auto-activate plugins after install? Uh, no, we're not. So uh, the same things that I said about um, uh, inline, up, uh, inline activating plugins and themes uh, is true for auto activating plugins and themes. Uh, we're currently not able to uh, make 100% sure that there's no fatal errors when we auto activate a plugin. Um, the, the, yeah, auto activating it um, would not bring us the concern of plugins redirecting after a page load. We could probably trigger that. Um, but that would be the main reason why we don't do that in this iteration. Which doesn't mean that it couldn't be done at a later point in time, though. Uh, yes? Does the dashboard updates screen change? Do you mean uh, on, uh, under, underneath the dashboard, the link? Uh, so yes, we had, uh, there was some, some work that is still ongoing there. Um, if you want to help contribute to that, you're more than welcome to. Um, right now, it's not in a state where I think it would be ready for 4.6, but that doesn't mean that if, you know, if someone would put in some work that it can't be ready for 4.6. Uh, just at this moment, it's not. Um, the things that we were thinking about there is just cl uh, cleaning up that screen a lot, um, uh, bringing all these different tables of plugins and theme and core updates together in one table. Um, and get ri getting rid of a lot of the buttons that you have on, on the very top of the screen just to make it a, bit, a, bit, easy, e uh, a bit easier to grok uh, when you first get on the screen. Um, not sure if that is getting into 4.6 though. Alex. Has there any thought been given to improving admin notices um, for plugins and themes? Uh, not really, um, in, in a general sense. Uh, we did uh, think about it a lot when it can, comes to uh, bulk actions, right? And how, how you can handle that um, information, you know, or, yeah, the success or failure information for bulk actions. Um, but we haven't really thought about um, improving that in general for plugins. I, I know, yeah. <laughs> Brennan. That, so the question was, how can we avoid, um, with feature projects, how can we avoid stalling projects until they're perfect? Um, and, and the answer to that is, um, we were kind of 
we kind of had that problem with feature plugins, right? Because we, we, were, we were hoping to have a, a finished feature ready to be merged. Um, going to, over to, to projects, um, we, we hope that um, we can have a more iterative approach to that, um, meaning if there's parts of that that is ready, um, to merge that already um, and not wait for the rest to be done because that is actually something that um, was a problem in, in the past. And so, I mean, um, Shiny Updates is a great example for that as well because the parts that I just show you, I showed you, uh, they're ready, you know, like they're done. Um, it, it may need some more testing and, and, and user feedback, but basically they're done. But um, the update core part in the dashboard is not done, right? And, and so we're not waiting for that to be finished. Uh, we just go ahead with what we have right now uh, and continue to iterate on, on that part. Yeah. No more questions? No? <laughs> You're ready to clap? Okay, thank you so much.